Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. In today's video, I will show you how to set up cellular network on Yaystar S-Series PBX. Once the cellular network is enabled, PBX will establish internet connection via the 4G network. Yaystar S-Series PBX is compatible with 2G, 3G, and 4G SIM cards. We can use them to make calls and use the 4G data for internet connection and video LTE HD audio calls. To use 4G data, you need to install the 4G module with 4G SIM card on the required slot, or the cellular network would be unavailable. Here's the installation location for each model. Slot 3 of S412, Slot 1 of S20 and S50, and Slot 1 on Expansion Board 1 of S100 and S300. If you're not clear about the hardware installation, please check our linked video. Now, log in to the web GUI. Go to the trunk setting page. Edit the 4G module. Choose Advanced. Set the mode to Voice and Data, so we can make calls and use mobile data with the same card. Also set network type. 4G and 3G are available. Choose LTE only. And the PBX will use the 4G network. We can also enable VOLTE for HD audio calls. Choose WCDMA only, and the PBX will use the 3G network. So, just set the network type according to your need, save and apply the settings. Now, let's turn to the network setting page to enable the cellular network. Here we are. In basic settings, we can easily find the cellular network setting. In the drop-down list, three options are available. Never means turning off cellular network and always use wired internet connection. Always means always using cellular network for internet connection. Remember to set the event notification letter. Click on OK first. Also set the DNS of the LAN port according to the network environment. Fallover makes PBX will use wired network for internet connection. And cellular network will only work when wired network is unavailable. By the way, don't forget to enable ICMP detection first. Go to ICMP detection, enable it, choose a preferred server, and click on test. Check if it works. With this detection, PBX will visit the server to see whether the network connection of the PBX is normal. Save the settings. The system will remind us to reboot the device. We can reboot the PBX while finishing all the network settings. Turn back to the basic settings. Set the cellular network to fallover. Save the changes and now we can reboot the PBX. Lock in again and we can check the network status. In the resource monitor, choose network. The status of the current network and cellular network is displayed over here. Then, the last step. Let's confirm if the event cellular network connected has been enabled. Go to the event center, find the event. Now, both options have been enabled. Once the IP address of the cellular network changes, the administrator will receive the notification instantly. Alright guys, that was all for cellular network configuration. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe us if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>